Okay, I've got my uh, my router table set up. This here that I've got is a, uh, it's a three quarter inch cutting height uh, chamfer bit. And um, I've got it correct, set to the correct height so that I can cut the, uh, the foam core out with the, with the template. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and show you uh, basically what I do. Uh, cut for our foam core. I don't know if you can see that real good. Sorry, I'm not really paying attention to the video. You can see there, it made a nice cut for our foam core. Okay, so here's the reason for the first flap. I got to get rid of uh, this piece of foam core. So if I have this flap here, it makes it a lot easier to cut this out. So basically I just take my uh, razor blade and just cut this section out. Okay, so there is that. Um, oh, you can't see real great, but all right, there we go. So got that cut out. Um, I'll do the same thing to the, the other side. And, um, and then I'll get ready to route this thing. All right, so I got this, uh, this piece cut off and now I've got this set up so that I can route this, uh, this section here off. Um, you can see here that I've got an extension on the, uh, on the tape so I can fold that, uh, that mounting piece of the template back um, and out of the way. Otherwise, this guard here gets caught on that. So you can't have it taped right up here against the edge. You have to have it so it tapes back a bit. Um, anyway, what I'm going to be doing is cutting an eighth inch down in the in the uh, foam core so that I can so I can put this piece of uh, laminate in it so that it's flush. So um, I've got this all set up. This is at the correct height. This is a trim router with just a guide on it. And um, anyway, let me show you what I'm going to be doing. Uh, it helps if you have a little piece of wood um, in case you want to uh, um, it has a hard time on this section here so anyway a little piece of wood helps That's pretty much it for that. Uh, basically, that'll slide in there. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like better after the template's off, after I get the uh, the other side done. Okay, I got this routed out, removed the template. Uh, I'm done with the template now. You can see how there's a recess there. Um, there's some dips here, but that's okay. That'll get covered with some, some epoxy. And this uh, mounting plate. You can see how this mounting plate goes on there. Um, it goes on nice and flush. Um, you can see these little holes here. It's actually, put it on both ends, but it's mainly uh, critical right here. Um, this actually shows me where the center of the board is when I'm cutting out the, uh, um, when I'm cutting the board out. So anyway, that's that bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the router so that I can cut in those, uh, those uh, glove handles or, or gri death grips, whatever you call them. Okay, I'm all set up. I've got a, uh, I believe it's a half inch um, channel bit, and I've got my guide on here. I've got this set uh, three quarters of an inch away. That's where I want the uh, the first part of the channel to be. I've got this set at half inch, so I have at least an eighth inch 
a foam core still left on on this core. So anyway, go ahead and cut it out. Okay, so you can see there I've got the first uh, channel cut out. And it's starting to rain a little bit. That's a quick cloud, so we're good. Um, anyway, I gotta take this over a little bit more, so I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move my guide over a little bit and do the same thing, cut on her. All right, here is the uh, foam core after we just cut those channels in it. And you can see here, it's looking really good. So uh, I am pleased with this. And um, now I just gotta get my stuff ready to do the, uh, the layup, so anyway, there's that. Now I just gotta clean up my stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get the vacuum out and get started on that. Thank you.